Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of the Wild. This is Michael Two and Seven. I'm gonna shoot this ball right in the ass and get some. Ooh, probably meet a surprise attack from a Zapphos. That was a legit surprise right there. Oh, let me break a sword and get up. Uh, get a new sword out. That's kind of uh, convenient. Bit of a downgrade. Royal broadsword to soldier's broadsword, but oh well. Yeah, I really want to check every corner now, especially now that I have my she gets sensor off. We're in new territory now. Oh, there's another rock. No, it's not a rock. It's a treasure chest. Maybe. You gotta be careful with treasure chests in the sand because they might be fake. This one isn't though. If you can't pull it out with magnesis, it's gonna be fake, and it's gonna have an octa rock under it, and you'll get attacked. Red rupee. Uh. Alright, let's try to start making that money back that I lost that stupid treasure chest game. Oh, I think I see, with my little eye, something that's a just a patch of grass. Again, you see things in the game, and they look like they might be something special, but once you get the draw distance, it's nothing special. I really should not be wasting these bomb arrows when I can't actually use them. I should switch back to my normal arrows. Oh well. I think we have a little itty bitty camp here. With some bacoblins in it. I'm just gonna run right in. I don't know if there's any silver. It doesn't look like there's any silver here. They're just little guys. Both these should be easy takedowns with my soldier sword. Oh, I didn't see that guy. I just thought there were three of them. Turns out there's four of them. And one of them got a hit on me. I was trying to do this without getting hit. Oh well. I still hear the music. Okay, nothing else here. Uh, what did you guys have here? Probably not much of anything. Maybe some food. Unfortunately, it's raining, so you can't cook anything over here. I don't see anything. No treasure. I could break these boxes if I wanted to, but they're made of metal, so I don't really want to waste any anything. <laughs> I can I can blow them up, I guess. What the hell? I just don't want to waste any of weapons on them. See, the problem with blowing them up is you blow everything all over the place and you might lose stuff. Got okay, palm fruit and that's about it. Ooh, a hydromelon. That should give you um, heat resistance. So that's cool. That's good enough. We'll just ignore the rest of that. Um, that's just a bunch of water I don't want to be swimming in. Actually, can I keep walking on this? Where am I? Okay, I'm not, I'm not anywhere that I've been before. It just kind of reminds me of that spiral island. It reminds me of, um, let me just show you really quick. I, I have this, like, just feeling of being here for some reason. That's just has that kind of familiarity. That's definitely a Lithophilus right there. I'm going to sneak up on him. Very carefully. Very carefully. Get the sword out. I'd rather do something different than that, though. Let's go with something heavy. That's going to be much better. That spiked vocal bat's 50 base power. That's pretty good. Oh, is he facing me? Oh, he's facing me. See, you can't... Something, yeah, that's the tough part. You can't tell. Well, that was a waste. I'll still fight him with this thing. He's got himself something pretty heavy himself, and he's gonna throw it. I never. I mean, I'm not surprised that enemies throw their weapons, but I never seen one do it. Am I crazy for saying that? Like it's the first time I've seen that happen. How strong is that anyway? Let me see what I can. Let's just get rid of this thing. How strong is that? It's shitty. It's 18. I'll just pull it out and use it on whatever break it immediately. This could be a Korok, this rock over here at the end. Just because you have to walk all the way out here to get to it. This has to be a Korok. See, that's my instincts right there. Good instincts. I'm not gonna... I'll, I'll, scra I'll not scratch my back for that. Pat my back for that. Oh, no, it's night time. These guys are gonna be popping out. I'm gonna try to ignore them. And it would be a good opportunity to use that shitty ass weapon I just got and get rid of it. But why do that when I can just run? I'm gonna get back to the town now. There's really nothing out here at this beach. I can see the town out in the distance. I can see the blue of the shrine over there. So I'm gonna look
look out for other things. There's seagulls over there. I know in Wind Waker that's like a very important thing to see seagulls. I don't know if this game it really means anything. I might check that area out. I'm just looking. Just looking as I'm running along. It's not a bad idea. I don't see any camps of enemies. I don't know if you can go into those rocks over there. It looks like that might be a mini cave. It's tough to tell with it with being so dark. I could just get in the water and swim over there if I wanted to. I might be able to make it with my Zora gear on. I want to save a little bit of time and I have to run everywhere. But then again, swimming is nice and slow and... Yeah. Either way, it's a lose-lose situation. I'm still going to go over there, though. Just something about that rock structure looks unique. And there looks to be mist over there. Is that really what I'm seeing? Yeah, I'm going to check that out before I go back to the town. Oh, we have another Zaphos right here. And one of these guys. I'm just going to keep running. I'll run right at this guy and attack him. Get him right in the back. Ooh. Knock him away. I'm not even going to worry about killing him. Oh, he's going to run it. Ooh, okay, now I have to kill him. It's going to hit me like that. Yeah, I'm just going to throw this at him. I don't want this thing anyway. Shoot him in the head. Ooh, I'd rather not use that close range. Uh, switch to shock arrows and shoot him in the head with that. Run at him with a new weapon. Master sword is... Uh, not fine. I didn't mean to call my horse, too. I don't think you really want any of your stuff, but whatever. Okay, let's keep going. Get around here and see what's what's over here. I just have a feeling, man. I have a feeling. I don't know why I have this. I should actually switch that out and save that for for when I'm in the cold mountains out west. So I am gonna go with something just basic. A Boko Bat's fine. I have another Royal Broadsword, too, somehow. I don't remember picking that up. That's fine. A little bit of water to swim in. Not much. In fact, I don't even need to swim in. I can jump right across here. Ooh. Ooh, this is a shrine. Yep. I need to actually take a picture of this. This is just something I remember from my last playthrough. Um... A very unique piece right here. I wonder if this would actually register right now. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to mark the spot that I'm standing at. But then I think a star is fine. Yeah, I have... I have a lead to a shrine right now. Um... Yeah, this is it. Palmore Ruins. This should be is what I'm looking for. This should be is what I'm looking for. Good grammar, my friend. Good grammar. Good English, really. It's not really grammar, but English. Anyway, so we have two pedestals here. And this might kind of bring you back to Twilight Princess a little bit. We have a broken mirror. And what we just saw back there was a shard from it. So we need to locate all the shards to this mirror. Luckily, we don't have to go all down, all around the Snow Peak and and the Arbor's Grounds and the Temple of Time and what else? The Sky Temple to get them. They're just spread around here. This beach. And we have to, to I assume, just take pictures of them. So, I don't know if that picture that I just took is going to count. I'll have to go back and take it a second time. I can help, sure. Yeah, 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 broke ah. apart. I know what you want. Just skip through all that. Skip through it. Okay. So, I might want to go... Let's just go back there take a picture of that one. Get away from me. I said, get away from me. Can I use that? Let me just use a weak weapon against these guys. Rather just save it and not have to waste any of my my good stuff. Oop, there we go. Hightail lizard. I'll happily take that. 
Okay, go back over here. I'm gonna do my camera one more time. It should give me a, uh... A prompt. Not a prompt, but... No, it didn't give me anything. That's interesting. Well... I'll let it be for now. I have to look around more for the others. You're not terribly spread out. They're not going to make you go all over Hyrule to find these things, so don't worry. That's something I was a little bit worried about when I first encountered this. I'm like, oh shit, I have to look all over the world for this. No, they should be in this area, so we just have to look around. I mean, it might be pretty far. I mean, I might have to go over, over there. Was that where I just got that Korok, though? Hold on. That Korok, it's not showing me, because it, it only shows the Koroks when I, when I, um, open a tower up and uncover the map, so that's not gonna be any good for me. At least I was right when I looked over here and saw that looked kind of suspicious. So it turns out this is actually an important area. What's this? Bones? Okay. I thought those were bones, but I'm like, that's the most... I think in the back of my head it was probably the Zalfos. Let's not, then we're just gonna break this arm on him. Why not? Okay, we'll go to the Master Sword, something simple. And just finish him off that way. You should be finding these things up in rock structures. So, let me look around. Keep the camera out. I don't know if you can put those things on your Sheikah sensor or not. I don't think you can. I don't remember the exact locations of these things. I just know they're in this area. We don't have to go very far. It's going to be tough to tell at night time with the clouds going over and making shadows. I mean, they're pretty distinguishable with the blue letter writing on them. So just keep looking at the floor, really. That's all you can do. to do. I don't know, and also, I don't know how many pieces I need, if it's three or... I think it's three. Just funny how that one doesn't register on my camera. That's the odd thing. I don't know if I have to find a certain one or what, or if there's something else I need to activate. Right now, I'm not having any luck. No luck at all. I don't want to get too far away from here. Oop! The fish that I haven't picked up yet. I was trying to get that. Nah, no big deal. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's checking little bits of rock in in the water is what I'm trying to do. I can get a treasure chest right here. Not that it means anything, but it's sitting there. Just waiting to be floated up on Cryonis, so I'll get it and get 50 rupees. Still working out all those rupees I lost. Oh. I don't see anything. There's nothing over here. That is a little bit frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. Where else can I look? Can I climb up and maybe find some? Gosh, I don't remember now. I'm starting to look get frustrated. I might have to spill this into the next episode. I don't know. I mean, I got, I still got plenty of time. I hope I can finish this in this video, but we'll see. We will see. I might have to do some climbing, I think. Maybe you can give me some clues. That might be something I can utilize. Because this is not working out. I can tell you that right now. Just wandering around like this is not working out. Okay, we're gonna go back to them. See what see what I'm missing here. Because I don't know why the picture doesn't register of that one. Maybe if I show him the picture, that might help. All right, dude. Let me show you one of these. Maybe just showing him one is good enough. I don't know. Let me let's see. Go in here. Talk to him. 
I did. That is true, I did. I took a picture of it, but it didn't register on the camera. Oh, shit. No, it does. Okay. See, when I first took a picture of it, it didn't register. Maybe because I took a picture before I activated the side quest, it would like like it would have registered in the camera had I not already taken a picture of it and talked to the guy like if I talked to him first and then went over there and took a picture of it it would have registered if that makes sense I don't know if it does well okay let's talk to him again I sure did yes no new findings I suppose one may have rolled away to a nearby beach well, that might actually help me. The letters on the stone glow with an eerie light at night, so you might want to try looking then. Oh, okay, well that that that's good information. Um, well, I guess we're gonna have to make it night. We have no choice. So let's get some wood out. And that's not how you get wood out. You want to go to this inventory. No, no, no. That inventory. That's what you want. The wood could be anywhere right there. And we are not going to bother with flint. We're just going to do this. We'll grab one of these. Fire weapons. And no. There. Do that. Slash it. And I wasn't even trying to call my horse. I don't know what that was about. Whatever. Sit until night. And we will wander around, and maybe these things will start appearing now. I mean, are they really just not visible in the daytime? I didn't think that. That's interesting. It, there should be some out on these rocks over here. I just feel like that's where they would put them. I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to have to climb it or not. Time will tell, time will tell. So I guess I want to check the same spot twice. I don't know how easy these, these things really are to see. That's the only thing I can, that's the only commentary I can give you right now. So I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled. My ears waxed, and my nose, just, my nose being a nose, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just blabbering right now, just blabbering, there should be something on this, come on, they glow at night, he says, there's a little patch of beach over there, over off to my right. Run towards that. Ooh, that was awkward. The way he ran down the side of the rock there. Okay, I can get over here. Just some ore. It's not really what I want, though. This is pretty good ore, though, so I don't mind mining it. Don't mind mining it at all. It didn't give me anything. <laughs> it didn't give me anything. Nothing. That is upsetting. Oh, we'll start going high up, I guess. There's some more ore. That's not gonna even be worth slashing at. That's just a regular one. Oh, I don't really want to have to climb for all this shit, but I'm gonna... I guess that's the only thing I can do. There's nothing on the... I mean, far away beach... I mean, should I go back over there? I'm starting to think I should now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's one. Cool beans, we got one. I think one might be on that beach that I found the Korok at, so I might have to go over there. Which makes me just think, son of a bitch. I don't want... Ugh, stasis, I want you. See, that's the... Uh, that's the prompt I was looking for. It gives you the exclamation point on it. It didn't give me that when I first when I took a picture of the other one because the side quest wasn't activated, but the picture still counted, which is good. So I can bring that back to him. And yeah, I'm more than likely gonna have to go far away for the other one. To that stupid beach over there where I got the Korok at. Alright, yeah, sure did. 
you can see this. And... Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Some of the fragments must still be missing. Keep looking. I wonder if the currents have strong enough to have carried them all the way to Cape Crezia or Sokia Point. Alright. That actually might... Oh, that's not going to help me at all because my map isn't... Is, isn't uncovered at all. That's not going to help me. Shit. Oh, that's no good. That is just no good. I'm... I really don't want to have to waste time going over there if it's not... If it's not for sure over there, but... Something tells me that it might be. I mean, it was nighttime and I was over there before and I didn't see anything. But then again, I wasn't really looking for anything either. Oh, I'm gonna make a hell of a swim, aren't I? I'm doing it. And I hope I survived this. <laughs> I needed to do was use that last uh, energizing elixir right there, and, and that would have gotten me across. I I wasted those two elixirs when I could have just used that one. Also, yes, I know I could have used Cryonis to get across without having to waste all that stamina and time, but I wanted to justify putting on this armor, and I guess also justify um, getting all those stamina potions too. Oh, I hope it's over here. It's certainly not. <laughs> it's certainly not. Let's just keep looking. Pick some rocks up. That wouldn't hurt. We're getting these out of the way. Yeah. I'll keep looking. Oh, shit. Might have to uncover the map to really know what, what, what he's talking about. I think it's over here, though. I think it's somewhere on this peninsula thing. I... You know, I wasn't looking for it when I was here before, so this time I can really look for it. Yeah, I think one of them is significantly further than the other two. You have to go a little out of your way for it, and I, I, I feel like I'm doing the right thing. But, so far, it's not looking good. It's really not looking good. It's kind of scaring me that I did all that swimming, wasted all those stamina potions, and most likely didn't get anything from it. And that's what I'm afraid of. I'm zigzagging back and forth on this thing to see if I can find it, find anything. I'm, I'm starting to get pretty, pretty let down right now. Pretty pessimistic, and just really, really sad and depressed. Yep, I fucked up. I fucked up. I shouldn't have come out here. And now it's daytime. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna run back there. Nighttime will fall. I'm just gonna cut that footage out, too. And I will be back at the pestles. Back to the drawing board. And... I, I might, might be crying a little bit. So, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, we're back here. Um, still daytime. I was hoping nighttime would fall by the time I got here, but it didn't. Um, which, by the way, I can confirm that you can see the things in daytime. It's just tougher uh, because they don't glow. But, you know, I, I saw the one that I originally found on the way in. Anyway, I am still going to make it nighttime, though, just to help me out. So, let's get some more wood out. Hold that and switch to this weapon, and we're gonna pick the wood back up. You're just, you're just dandy right now, Mike. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay, sit down. Nighttime. Ding, 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 ding. I think it kind of does a little piece of the main theme. Three notes of it, I guess. Okay take that off again and I just know it's kind of on a beach it's just like on the beach it's a little more out in the open too but it might be further off yeah I'll use my mass sword on these things I don't care 
Actually, can I go to something weaker? I yeah, there you go. That's good. That's a good choice. Don't use a massive sword on those things, please. Okay. I mean, maybe it's just on the other side of the beach. I don't know. I can check out over that way. Um, it, it might just be on the end. I don't. I don't know. No, nothing here. Yeah, that one I just found by complete accident. Oh, I could talk to him again and get those clues back, but again, I don't I don't have the map unlocked, so I can't see the names of the areas. But they it might kind of help for me to see like if it's like a bay or a cove or something like that. I don't know if that's really gonna help me. If he says beach it will really help me. I don't know, it would be on something sandy. But I'll kind of walk around this area for a little bit. I just have a funny feeling this last one's going to be far off and out of the way. I'll jump around the rocks a little bit like a... Uh, what kind of penguin does that? A puffin? Not puffin. What are the ones that have the funny hair type of things on top of their <laughs> on top of their heads. Those feathers that go like side to side. They're not puffins, are they? Puffins are the ones that have like two can beaks. They're like rock jumper penguins. They jump rocks. <laughs> I read about it at, at the zoo one time. Get out of here. You are not welcome here. Never run away from you guys. See, now I'm just heading back towards that stupid stretch of sand that I was on earlier. It's clearly, I couldn't find it there. So, this coming out this way is not helping me at all. Get out of here. Those arms are so shitty. Let's just go back to the mass sword. Whatever. It'll, it'll regenerate. Forget it. I'm just, I don't know if I'm going to have to go all the way to the tower, uncover the map, and see exactly what he's talking about. I don't know. It's just starting to get a little bit frustrating to me. I thought I'd have an easier time finding these things. Get some bananas to make me feel better. And about the point where I might have to stop recording, I'm getting close to the end here. So I'll go back to his area, run around a little bit more. But I'm about out of ideas. I'm not going to give up on it, that's for sure. I'll keep looking. And I don't know if I'll look a little bit off screen or not. That, that kind of. Well, that defeats the purpose of the, of the whole damn playthrough, doesn't it? You can't do things off screen. Are you kidding me? Oh. I just don't want to waste like, an entire episode trying to find one of these things. I think that was a hardy lizard, by the way. But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I don't know if I want to go up anywhere. I don't want to just go that far out of the way. Let me talk to him again. Let me talk to him again. No, I did not. Nothing new. Oh, here, do that again. Okay, I, it's still looking. Yeah, they're kind of hard to spot, but the letters from the stone glow at night. You might want to try searching for them after the sun's gone down. Send a picture showing me one of them should be right around here. Please find that first. And I want to see what areas he's talking about. No luck. Possible. The ocean carried a fragment all the way to Crescia or Soka Point. See, that's why I need to figure out what Cape Crescia is. Or Soka Point. See, that's what I thought that was over there. So that's why I swam all the way over there, but apparently I'm wrong. Well, shoot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb up high starting next episode. And I will get a bit of a head start here. And just work my way down 
I'm if I can locate that tower and run over to it and open it up. I mean, I'll, I'm definitely going to spend a lot more time running around here and just trying to find it on my own. But if I really need to learn what those places are on the map, what am I doing? I just felt like jumping over there. What am I doing? Here, just do this. Because you did that, you gotta do this. Idiot. Okay, get up to a place you can stand. Even if this is a little rock right here, I don't care. <laughs> How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Well, we're gonna stop right here, I guess. So, next time on Breath of the Wild, I'm gonna continue searching for that last shard. If I... If I take too long to find it, I might have to um, go find the tower, open the map up, and see what the, what what parts he's talking about. So, let me also, speaking of map, let me mark this. I'm going to mark this area on my map in case I do have to come back to this uh, shrine quest. So, I'll see you next time, folks. Take care.